second annual Black History Month Poetry Slam. We would like to thank our administration, our teachers, and you, our peers, for continual support on this journey. We would also like to thank Ms. Sanders and Mr. Alvarado for not only putting this event together, but also helping us prepare. Lastly, please enjoy and remember to snap, not clap when you're feeling. Hi, my name is Kara Gary, and I'll be reading the poem for tellings by Tracy Morris, Harriet Mullen, Joe Stewart, and Yolanda Wisher. If I am black and beautiful, I really am, and I know it, and I don't care who cares or says what, me and Simone. No bitter peach or stranger fruit, grafted to a noble tree. She takes her place in lineage, areola diversity, oracular, who looks to see. Edges of a baby's ear, that child's cuticle. And lying through long shots to a, to a throne, how dark might she be? How dark becomes her loveliness, the bronze, the ducks, bumps in air's chill, liquid walks under the corpse's depth hue. Not one drop dilution or taint, showing all her colors, still too soon. To know how history hurts. A black whale is a killer, puller into deep. Half moon occludes an area, waves fan out sonic touch. A smooth metal rose is as black as a beach plum. Black huckleberry is black huckleberry. Blueberry is also black. A black broadest in the middle. What else prompts of imagining of her? Bubble lightation, here, here, from oxygen nature on down. Above? Glory as torque through iron like humor. Infinite symbols conversitate towards heat. Absorb the foul gravitation. Hot home hero huffing it. Harmony harbor unbothered. Guy real grill guy. Rocking that radiator. Rah rah. Shaking that shortcake. Chi key. Mike check Missy. A miracle? Color to Romero. True voice on the black hand side. How can we tell? Beyond inflection points? A throat's tinge? Skeletorial, black. Muscular, black. Breathing from a black organ. Black time passes behind the black minutes. Other black dimensions. Gohan gals harmonizing. Sculptured baby hair scissoring. Somebody to believe in. Somebody to bleed. Peel off in black layers. Lumber and black. At flowering time. The fear of black. Not black, but black. Mom black and also even sun is black. by Joan Hollihan. Who kills my history knows that it's buried. In the same air I breathe, only a hair is needed to keep you, mother. Only a bit of bones, comfort, comfort, I am my own. Wanting simple, a sun like water, a flow and stir of air, warm stone, black warm, dirt scent and bird, I am put out to weather. Animal eye we hear, heaving, breathing over, Felt by smell for me and moon. Air shifted my hair as it neared its sniff, then left. Comfort, comfort me. A thresh of sticks and vine, hand carried high. I am my own weight carried by. Kind horse, kind mother, gone. Good afternoon. My name is Julie Saunders Caesar. Today I will be reading The Dreamer and The Doer. In his eyes, the spark of dreams, a future built from quiet schemes, the architect of his own fate, 
He dreams big, it's never too late. He sketches plans in the night sky. His canvas vast, he aims so high. He knows the climb won't be so clear, but still he conquers, void of fear. A dreamer, yes, but also more. He's a doer, that's for sure. In life's grand scheme, he's a key player. He's a dreamer and a slayer. My name is Razan D, and I'll be reading The Sky Kiss of Prizes by Amada Mata. The moon is bleeding its white. The moon is threading clouds. Across the eye, across the feet. And how can it be that I caught? By the end of this by the end of this road, by the beginning of a faraway flame, off guard I find my steps going back and forth on pavement. In the middle of the street, a follow, a sort of off of clouds, a sort of clown. Does anybody see? Against this view, why do I feel myself invisible, invincible? A leaking thing at times, there among the, the buildings and windows, all over my head, I can be seen a fool. And I am, I am. Hi, I'm Miss Elva 
Ontario, I will be reading The Beginning of Color by Thomas McCartney. These brown discolorations on a faded black and white photograph are not at all like a defect in anything remembered, but rather a kind of crystallization, as Ten Hill described it in one of his more eccentric books about love. In truth, my childhood was cast down like a twig into an abandoned salt mine near Salisbury. From where it emerged of this, I'm certain, as something much richer than my own life, a jeweled branch of living history, now retrieved by my mother from the well at Twig Bog Lane. I'll never know who it was, and anyway, why would I want to know who it was? Who slid that black hard plastic button to on one late summer afternoon in 1957? So that not only did some kind of shutter flick open in my head, but the full force of color saturation hit my brain. The effect, the effect was high extrome. And life as it is now, that studio of constant poems, is just that as my mother followed the metallic home assistant smoke gallon from the deep well in Twig Bog Lane, the light deprivation reflected back from her face and got lost in me. And I knew how biography is a steady of only one kind of lens, how memory offers different iterations, how somewhere a paper was being coated with such chemicals that even deeper colors would form over time. During that summer, a world away, the first international color salon was organized in Hong Kong, and while restrictions on dollar imports meant that Ireland couldn't reach a speed of 100 ASA, faster colors kept rushing in. There was no holding life back once it swarmed. Biography was now with no holding life back once it swarmed. Biography was ready for color. Our brains were marked. That year for realities more personal. Reality is brighter than a boxed-in lens. Huge blackwater river rats that gnawed through the doors of our dry toilets in Twig Bog Lane were as ignorant as color as me, and could not have known that their multi-layered bristles would soon be seen in more subtle shades of brown. Again, good afternoon. I would like to thank you all for your patience and respectfulness during their performances. Please give our poets a round of applause for making both us and their ancestors proud. Please enjoy the rest of your Friday and have a wonderful weekend. That was great. I love it.